Welcome to the first installment of Making a Zine. This is a new series where I take you from the shoot all the way to the finished product. This is meant to be an introduction to the series. So I thought we'd go over the why. Why the series? Why the zine? Well, I like making zines. That's, that's, one, <laughs> that's one good reason why. I really don't enjoy landscape photography or nature photography that much in the summer. It's usually hot and dry around here. The, the light's usually not what I like, especially in the wooded areas. And so I'm rarely very productive in the summer when it comes to photography. And I thought, well, let's, let's try to change that. Let's do a project. Let's, let's focus on something. And by the end of the summer, I'll have something I can show for myself. And another reason for the project is fuel costs. You all know that it's very expensive to drive. I can't go too far. <laughs> if I'm going to work on a project, it, it's going to have to be fairly close to home. So this project and this zine, the subject of the zine, is within 10 miles of my house. Luckily, it happens to be one of my favorite places to take photographs. I'll be focusing on the ecosystem of this little park. It has a creek running through it. It's got nice wooded areas and it's got a few waterfalls. It should make a very good subject for a zine. So this project's gonna be taking most of my time and most of my photography is gonna be focused on this zine project. So how does that affect my YouTube channel? And I started thinking, well, that might actually make a, a nice series. I've always been big on doing series, even when I was in journalism. When I worked for the newspaper, um, the summer was often a, a slow time of year, so a section editor and myself would get together and we'd just come up with a series that we could run all summer long that we thought the viewers might, might, like, to, uh, might like to see, might like to follow. And I think that that's kind of what I'm looking at for this YouTube channel. This series might be a nice way to follow along on this project. The parameters are, it's a summer project, so it started a couple weeks ago. I'm getting a slow start on it, but June 21st is the first day of summer, and it will run through to September 22nd, which is the last day of summer. So I need to have all my photography done in that time frame. And I've decided to make this project on film. It'll be 35 millimeter black and white film. This will be the first project I've done completely on film, at least in many years. And I'm kind of excited about that. So it's going to have a nice uniform look and 35 millimeter also allows me to take a lot of photographs and not really worry too much about being conservative with my photographs. If I see something that catches my attention, I'm just going to take a picture. Now I'm going to show some, some pretty mediocre stuff I would imagine as the series goes on because I'll be taking photos that at the time look like they might be something, but, uh, they may not be the greatest, <laughs> but it's a good thing to show. It's, it gives you an idea how the project's going. This project's probably going to be quite a challenge, and that's another thing that attracts me to it. The light in the summer is often not ideal in the wooded areas, so I'm going to have to go very early to, to make images, often on these blue sky days, and I may only have a two-hour window to make a photograph or a couple photographs or shoot a roll of film before the sun gets too high and, and it gets too harsh. If I get lucky, I'll get some days with some clouds that I can work, work longer. I'm getting a, a fairly slow start on this project because I just wrapped up putting together my last zine and I, that was on covered bridges. So the two kind of overlapped. Now I can focus all my attention on this new zine. Some of the elements in this series that I'd, I'd like to uh, make sure I hit is some of the editing of the photographs some of the picking, the sorting, the picking of the pictures. And I'm hoping that maybe the viewers can participate some in, in what photos that actually end up in the zine. That might be kind of fun. So basically, we're, we're hitting every step. We're going to be doing the photography, which is for the next couple months, that's going to be what we're focused on most. I hope you don't get too bored with me out taking pictures of the same area. But it it's a nice area, so... It could be worse. <laughs> and then we'll start mixing in some of the editing as uh, as I'm making some of the photos. 
And then once we've got all the images, we'll start trying to uh, put together a narrative for this zine. What, are we, what is it we want to show? And then finally, we're going to lay, lay it out and have it printed. I, I think this could make an interesting series. So now that we've got this introduction out of the way, let's take a look at this first photo shoot at Bell Creek. After a couple hours of walking around and, and making photographs, I didn't really have a lot to show for myself today. It was uh, really just the first outing, just to kind of start getting myself tuned into the location. Sometimes that takes a little time. I knew it was going to be bad light, and it the light was really becoming pretty harsh, so it was time to pack up and, and call it a day. I, I finished a roll of film. I felt like that was a a productive start and I, I got a few photos that I think are a good start to the project. I used to kind of joke that I was at, at my office when I was out at this park because I would do quite a few things out there in the past. It truly will be my office this summer. I'm looking forward to revisiting every inch of this park this summer and I hope that I can find something that I haven't seen there before. One of the dangers of a project like this on something that I've, on a location that I've been to a lot, is it's gonna look kind of ordinary or mundane to me. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping I can still appreciate the beauty of this location and not um, feel like I'm rehashing something. Even though I'm shooting the same waterfalls, the water levels are different, the light's different, it's, a, it's amazing how you can return to the same location over and over again and find something different. If this looks like it's going to be something that you're interested in, if you haven't subscribed, well, make sure you don't forget to do that and hit the like button. That really helps us get more people to see what we're doing. If you want to take that a step further, as I always say, I do have a patron page. If you want to help, for, help with future projects, you can be a patron team member. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.